First Chronicles chapter 10 with the names interpreted. Now the wallowing fought against he shall be prince of God, and the men of he shall be prince of God fled from before them and fell slain on Mount Boiling Spring, rolling, pouring out. And the wallowing followed close after requested and his sons and overtook them. And the wallowing slew Jehovah his giver, father of the willing giver. And my king is salvation, king of opulence, the sons have requested. And the battle raged about requested, and the archers found and wounded him. Then requested said to his armor bearer, Draw your sword and thrust me through with it, lest these uncircumcised come and abuse and make sport of me. But his armor bearer would not, for he was terrified. So requested took his own sword and fell on it. When his armor bearer saw that requested was dead, he also fell on his sword and died. So requested died, he and his three sons, and all his house died together. And when all the men of he shall be prince of God who were in the valley saw that the army had fled and that requested and his sons were dead, they forsook their cities and fled, and the wallowing came and dwelt in them. The next day, when the wallowing came to strip the slain, they found requested and his sons fallen on Mount Boiling Spring, rolling, pouring out. They stripped requested and took his head and his armor and sent them around about in wallowing to carry the news to their idols and to the people. And they put requested's armor in the house of their gods and fastened his head in the temple of the fish god. When all dry heap of witness rolling forever heard all that the wallowing had done to requested, all the brave men arose, took away the bodies of requested and his sons, brought them to dry and buried their bones under the oak in dry. When they, then they fasted seven days. So requested died for his trespass against the Lord in sparing people of lapping or licking up for his unfaithfulness in not keeping God's word, and also for consulting a medium with a spirit of the dead to inquire pleadingly of it, and inquired not so of the Lord in earnest penitence. Therefore the Lord slew him and turned the kingdom over to beloved son of my men, of him who is my subsistences. <laughs>